of the worm. In any city, in any country, go to any hospital waiting room and ask to see the holder of the worm. You will be met with a look of disgust and informed that the elevators are currently not operating. This will be the case even in a small, single-floor building. Politely ask your question a second time, and you will be directed through a pair of exit doors to a dimly lit stairwell. Take the stairs down, and only down, lest you find yourself in a loop that will never end. You will descend an impossible number of flights, into pitch darkness as a foul smell fills the air. After many hours, your feet will land on something soft, slick, and damp. A dim, orange light shines in the distance, and the stench is overpowering, a mix of blood and feces. Tread carefully. Should you slip and fall, you will become a permanent part of what you are walking on. As you approach the glow, you will begin to make out your surroundings, a vast cave formed of solid, raw, red meat. Rancid juices stream down the walls, and the floor is caked with human excrement. The only source of light is an old and battered mining lantern propped against the entrance to a small, ragged side chamber. Enter this room, and you will find a nude, emaciated young woman, her face buried in meat as she hungrily excavates her tunnel. This starving soul is the holder of the worm, and will acknowledge only a single question. How can they be satiated? The holder will turn to you, gore streaming down her face, and answer your question in lengthy and sickening detail. All the while she will weep, shake with hunger, and repeatedly attempt to return to her meal, but show her no pity. Firmly repeat your question, as often as it takes, and she will continue on. If you allow her one bite, she will never speak again, and you will never find the way you came in and spend the rest of eternity living as she does. Distract her long enough to complete her speech, and the holder will seem oddly composed, as though her hunger has been satisfied. She will thank you for coming to see her and offer an embrace. Stand firm and open your mouth. Do not move, speak, or react in any manner, even as she presses her bloody lips to yours. You will feel something long, fat, and slippery slither down your throat for several minutes straight. When its entire length has left her body, the holder will suddenly collapse into a heap of bones. Her lantern will flicker, and you will find yourself in no more than the hospital broom closet. Try not to draw too much attention to yourself. The creature that now squirms in your intestines is object 261 or 538. However much you eat, you will never feel quite full again. <laughs>